from day one, from the first time that man spoke to me, as Tasso said, I felt like, young man, get up and do something with your life. <laughs> to tell you the truth. And without him, honestly, I don't know if I would have been motivated coming from a young person's standpoint. The young people in here could feel what I'm saying. I know they feel the same way. So a special thanks to Mr. Herman. And as Tasso said, it's really disappointing to see we don't have something to give to him. But we still have to let him know how we feel. And deep inside, without Mr. Herman, it's like I had no goals. I would not have seen myself in the future being anywhere. Mr. Herman is someone to take you from zero and bring you up there. Trust me. <laughs> with, with his hard work, his time, effort, professionalism in everything he do, the standard of care has always been up there to tell you the truth. Even the doctors could testify of what he's done. And as I stress on again, I want people with influence in here to take it from here. He's the stem of the tree, branch out. Try to use everything Mr. Herman has taught us so that we could integrate ourselves, as I said, into the system again. I can't stop saying that because with the situation in St. Lucia, you could see that the standard needs uplifting and he's the one that's integrated us with the knowledge we need already. So it takes with people of influence right now. It's so sad to see that the Prime Minister and some people couldn't make it here today. But those that are here presently, take what you've seen, what you've heard, and let it go out there. Because Mr. Herman has been trying from day one, and he's not stopping. He hasn't stopped, and I don't think he'll stop now. <laughs> so special thanks to everyone for being here. Thanks to the committee. Thanks to Dr. Pierre, the um, student committee as well, sorry, the cabinet secretary, uh, the assistant commissioner has left already. But he as well could have seen the influence that Mr. Herman has on young people. And as we always say, the children have the future for tomorrow. And Mr. Herman giving us this opportunity shows us that there are ways and means that you can do things to help motivate young people, not by just telling them, look a job or put money into their hands, but feeding their mind. As Ben Franklin said, they could rub what's in your pocket, but they could never take out what's on your mind. <laughs> so, I want to say a special thanks to Mr. Luman again, and thanks to everybody for being here today. Thank you. Okay, I think a lot has been said today. I have never been happier. <laughs> Other than to say to Mr. Larkin, in a way, it is nice to see you go. Well, you all go. I think my fridge can finally rest. <laughs> anyway, no, that was a joke. That was just a joke. Because I know there are another crop after you leave, right in this room. So you might probably wreak havoc on me thereafter, having made that statement. Anyway, like I say, it has always been a pleasure, and like my joy really comes from when I can see the smiles and the feeling of persons that I've interacted with, you know, in the way that it has been expressed here today. And I need nothing else other than that. And so it, it brings me to a point where I have a very dis difficult decision to make. I've been heard all of this today as of April 1st. Mr. Minister Farm, if you, Mr. Ferdinand, uh, my confidant, so it has brought me to a point where I need to rethink my next move. <laughs> and um, otherwise, I'm, it appears that I'm going to be leaving a lot of people hanging. But it seems that the, the ride is, a lot is riding on my being around, if you understand what I mean. So having said all of this, I would say no more. Uh, so, so just so as to not kill the, the mood of, I'll just leave it at that and to say that I look forward to the next batch of folks who are right here. I expect, I look forward to all the similar hard work and your predecessors. Um, I, know, I know that they, they will be around you. And so you have some pretty big shoes to fill. 
because okay, some of them leave, leave marks that you have to try to maintain. So with all that said, beyond these doors, at the end of the hall, uh, the, the, the refreshments await. So I would urge you to enjoy yourself. And like I learned from the director from Nemo, from Nemo, leave, leave nothing behind when it's paid for. <laughs> so go out and enjoy. So take it all the bags with you if you have to. Thank you all for coming. Okay, so we didn't too much to do this one. Some action in the, in the background is cool for me. Yeah. Good. I'm not here with Dr. Pierre, who is involved with the emergency medical technology program and is going to fully introduce himself to us and to tell us about his involvement with Dr. Pierre. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'm now here with Dr. Pierre, who is involved in the emergency technology program, and he is going to tell us about his involvement and what exactly he does. Um, first of all, my name is Dr. Algie Pierre. I, um, my involvement in the, in, the, in the program has been a rather coincidental one. I, I met Craig with together for a short while at Victoria Hospital and then subsequently